I like it. Um, you know, uh, listening to you, I remember um, a sentence that uh, John Wickland said. Uh, I read it on uh, Michael Hoyt, uh, Michael Hoyt's book, and he said that one problem with us, we has as therapists, is that we um, we start to become not a mental health professional, but mental um, disease professionals, you know? And in a way, what you're saying is that we have to um, become again mental health professional to, to focus our view, our way to see clients on their skills, on their health, on what works. Yeah. Yeah, I like that very much. And and you know, when you start to talk about skills, when your mindset is in the in the realm of skills, then it's kind of natural to talk about what skills have you already learned, what are you good at. Yeah. Uh, you you become like naturally solution focused. So that's why I don't teach solution focused thinking. I teach skills mindset. Yeah. Be- yeah. But sorry. Yeah, I just wanted to say that it, it follows automatically because once you start to talk about skills, you can talk about skills that you have already learned, you can talk about skills that you need to learn, you can talk about how much have you already learned that skill, you can talk about how can you learn that, who can help you to learn that skill, and all these kind of natural questions start to flow, and the conversation is very pleasant. If you want to call it brief therapy, that's okay. If you want to call it solution-focused uh, work with children, that's also okay. I call it kid skills, but that's just for marketing purposes. Yeah, in fact, now please, uh, we just entered in the kid skills uh, mindset and your your method. But can you tell more about that? Can you tell more about um, a little bit of story, uh, if you want, and uh, more about the method, uh, more about what you just say, the kids' skills. Yes, it's um, many years ago, uh, 20 years ago, you know, time passes quickly. I was uh, asked to become a supervisor for a small team of uh, teachers, kindergarten teachers, you know, mm-hmm. children who are like five, six years old. All these kids had major problems. They had been removed from normal groups to the special group, children with special needs, aggression problems, anxiety problems, all kinds of problems. And then they asked me if I would help them develop a more solution-focused approach to working with these children and, of course, the parents too. And so when I became involved, I said, maybe we should develop something together that other kindergartens or schools or families could benefit from, like a protocol. You know, when I say protocol, I mean step-by-step approach that can be described and given to other people. Try this. This may help you. And we started to collect, let's say, useful steps. I think we took ideas from narrative therapy, some ideas from of course, many ideas from solution-focused therapy and from Milton Erickson and from our own experiences. And in the end, we ended up with 15 steps. So then that means it's not so easy to very quickly explain the method because it has 15 steps. Yeah. But um, then I would have to like speak a little bit about each step. But I can say that the main step, the most important step, is taking the child's problem and converting it into a skill that the child should learn. So if the child is, for example, aggressive and hitting other children, then the first step, almost almost the first step, is thinking. You have to stop and think. So what skill does this child need to learn? And you cannot say, He has to stop, learn to stop hitting other people. It's not a skill to learn to stop doing the wrong thing. You have to take one step further and you have to, yes, yes, he has to learn to stop hitting other children. You are right. But what skill does he need to learn so he can stop doing that? And that is the big question. And then you have to think and maybe after a little while you say something like, oh, Maybe the child needs to learn to calm himself down when he's becoming 
angry like that. You know, then the skill is calming yourself down when you become angry. And that's already a skill to learn. So this is the maybe the main step in kids' skills, and it's not always so easy. So, in fact, I ended up doing an app, like writing uh, uh, the text for an app. And now you can take the app from Google Play or from yeah. App Store, and you can find all kinds of children's problems in the app. And there will be some suggestions for what skill the child would need to learn if they have this problem or that problem. There are more steps because I said there are yeah. 15 steps. So then almost all the other steps are different motivational strategies. You know, like how do you get the child to want to learn that skill? You need to do stuff like you need to talk with the child about the benefits of the skill. Maybe you need to plan a celebration, you know, like when you have learned the skill, would you like to celebrate in some way? Shall we buy a cake for you and have a big party for you because you have learned the skill? So you're kind of motivating the child. So it becomes exciting to learn the skill. And a very important step in kids' skills is the, the, the step where we ask the child, who can help you? Hmm. Which people can help you? How can your mother help you? How can your teacher help you? And this is special. How can your friends help you? Oh, yeah. You know, in traditional therapy, we never involve the friends or maybe we do these days, but in the olden times we never did. In the psychoanalytic tradition, it was just the patient and you would do something with the patient. Maybe for years you work with this patient to try to change them. But now this thinking is totally different. It's like, I am not going to help you change. I'm going to help you think about who around you can help you to change. And you are going to tell them how you want them to help you. So it's a kind of a different mindset altogether. And it's not difficult. It's not complicated. Everybody can understand it. But it is so different from what we are used to that uh, it takes a while for people to get it.